You want products that are unique, exclusive, highly consumable. You want products that are demonstrable. You want products like Bright, that somebody takes two of these little capsules and they feel a difference. Some kid who's you know, taking his SAT test and knows he's cramming all night, he can feel that somebody who's doing their income taxes at 2 a.m., they can feel this. The mental acuity, the clarity, the concentration, you mix it together with the pure and you actually experience that gut brain synergy that you hear researchers and scientists talk about all the time. The beet product, one of our newest products, okay? This is a product with beetroot, L-arginine, uh, bamboo, silica, silica, but I mean, what is one of the, I think the biggest products in the market in the last year, beetroot products. Why? It's an incredible cardiovascular formula, which is incredible for sexual health, prostate health. This is, you know, people say, what, it, I, what does the beet product actually do? I say, well, I take it for two reasons. One, because I'm a softball warrior. I'm playing every weekend. I need that cardiovascular. I need the circulation for my heart. And it's a libido product that gives you the sexual appetite of a teenager, but without the acne. <laughs> That's what this product does. What do I mean? But, I mean, it's demonstrable. When people, how many times have you seen people come in and say, well, you know, I, I've been taking uh, eight of these products a day, which they're spending $600 a month, right? So, yeah, I take like eight a day, and I, I just feel like a better sense of well-being, and I haven't had a cold in five months. That's not demonstrable. The rain products are demonstrable. And mas importante, they have an emotional attachment. Because when you experience the results of those products, you create an attachment to those products. And then the other mental model you look at is market share. What is the upside market potential of this product? How many people would use it? And how much, what would an average family, I always look at, okay, what would an average family of four consume of this product on a monthly basis, right? Uh, one of the things I feel, the models that I found is I don't believe in doing one product companies. Why? Because if you got, so, okay, great, you got your amazing magic berry juice. It's still one product. They can drink a big glass of the berry juice every day. It's one product. When you have a company like Rain with a dozen products, there's all kind of market share. There's, and there's people like me that take I think uh, I guess I take seven products a day from Rain on a daily basis, and the other ones on occasional things. It's just a, you know who could benefit from Rain products? Everyone. Everyone. They need good circulation. They want protection against the antioxidants. Do they want protection against inflammation? Do they want more energy? Do they want a clear digestive tract? Do they want to repopulate their gut biome? Do they want to be healthy? Right, so the market share is huge. And then there's a couple, another model I use that uh, people are kind of shocked when I, I talk about this, but I'm talking about the premium price model for the product. And people are shocked to this because, like there's, there's we have people in this space right now who their whole thing is, we have the cheapest vitamins around, you know. We're selling vitamins for uh, $8 a bottle or $10 a bottle. <coughs> Excuse me. And other companies are charging, you know, $30 or $40. But what I know from my experience, not just in network marketing, but in regular marketing, in all my experience as an entrepreneur, is you never want to be the low price product. Never. That is the worst marketing position in the world. 
Because all someone needs to do to steal all your customers mm -hmm. is to sell your similar product for one penny less. I told you I was old. Let me tell you how old I am. Right now. <laughs> I am so old that when I used to call my grandmother, after one minute, she would say, Randy, I know this is costing you, so I'm going to hang up now, but I love you. Now, why did she say that? Because it cost me 37 cents a minute to call long distance from Miami, Florida to Madison, Wisconsin. And then network marketing entered the <laughs> arena. And we had 30 cents a minute plans. And companies exploded. And then a new company came along, they were 27 cents a minute. And that company exploded. And then we had 25 cents a minute, 21 cents a minute, 19 cents, 17 cents, 15 cents, 13 cents. <laughs> boom, 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 boom. Where are all those companies today? No. No. We going bye bye. <laughs> they don't exist because that's a terrible model. This is the model I want to be in. This is the model I want my team in. I want the premium market. I have a concierge medical service I use. They don't take insurance. You pay thousands of dollars to get custom personalized attention from a physician who's your personal physician. I don't care about the insurance. I don't want the cheapest doctor. Mm -hmm. If I have a health thing, I'm not looking for a doctor who has a buy one, get one free. <laughs> I'm not looking for a doctor that has an early bird special. I'm not looking for doctors who offer coupons. I want the best doctor in the world. I live in a beautiful penthouse. I want a quality penthouse. My, just because I'm the penthouse, my unit costs $100,000 more than the floor beneath me. Because there's a better view from the penthouse. It just is what it is. So I want the penthouse. I want, and I want quality products, and I make enough money, I'm wealthy enough that I can afford it. And I, for the things that matter to me, I want premium. So what, if, what matters to me more than anything else? Nutrition. I want premium nutrition. I have, by the way, I have, I have, I think I counted the other day, I buy products from five other companies in network marketing. Nutrition products. Very high dollar nutrition products. Very, they're not products that Rain has, they're other things, but I'm a connoisseur of good health. Okay, I have a compromised immune system since 2006. So I know the value of health. I know the value of taking care of myself. And I'm not looking for discount nutrition. I'm looking for state of the art, purity, potency, bioavailability that you get from them. So, but like these products, so I spend, and I'll admit it, I, a lot of people would say this would be crazy because I probably spend um, $1,000 a month on nutrition products between the rain products and these other products that I do. Now, but, and people say, well, you buy those products from other companies, why didn't you join with those companies? Because they don't fit the mental models. I like Cinnabon. <laughs> I don't eat them often. Because it takes you, if you eat a Cinnabon, it takes you a half marathon to burn off those calories. <laughs> but once a year, I'll be in the airport, I'll be at gate 27, and I'll smell the Cinnabon by gate 4. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I live in Miami, the original location of the first Krispy Kreme donuts. Okay, and I'll be honest with you, sometimes I'm driving by that store and that hot donuts now light starts flashing. My car is sticking itself into the parking lot. Right? So I love Krispy Kreme donuts, but that doesn't mean I want to buy a Krispy Kreme franchise. I love Cinnabon, but that doesn't mean I want to work for 
Cinnabon. Hi, can I help you please? <laughs> no, so I don't join a company just because they have a great product, because I know there's been hundreds of companies with great products that still went out of business. Yep. Right? So back to this premium market model. iPhone, and when this came out, it was like $1,700 for an iPhone. People were camped out in tents for three days to pay $1,700 for a phone. And they loved it. And what happened to $1,700? It got acceptance. <clears throat> And 1700 became 1500 and 1500 became 1300 and 1300 became, and now it's a map. Homeless people have iPhones. <laughs> True, I'm not, you know, I'm not ripping, I, you know, throwing shade. Really, it's become, that's what happens when you have a premium, superior product, you launch it in the marketplace with the kind of source, with the people who are willing to pay the money and you gain acceptance and the technology develops and the scale develops and the cost goes down. And I believe that's what's gonna happen with Ring. Same thing with Tesla. Tesla was like, you know, $250,000 coup, right? Only the wealthy people could buy Teslas. But what's happened over the last five years? Now they've got an affordable model for them. So this is, when I look at the mental models, I'm looking for, I want a premium, top of the line, state of the art product line that appeals to people who are willing to pay them for it. All right.